Welcome to a brand new episode of the Jordan Davis Podcast. I am your host, Jordan Davis, and on today's episode, we got quite a few things to talk about between the new release Empire Magazine first look of Kylo Ren and his mask, and I have a little theory I want to talk about about how the Knights of Ren will fit into episode 9 slash the Rise of Skywalker, so uh... Yes, sit back, relax, and uh, enjoy the podcast, and let's get right down to it. So, now when I woke up this morning, I was not expecting such a great first look of Kyle Kylo Ren on Empire Magazine, because this issue is going to come out in, I believe, in October, or maybe it's November. But, like again, it has Kylo Ren face off of Rey. You can't really see Rey, it's just Kylo Ren, but... As you can see, it's in all his glory, all of his cracked red mask just wanting to come off. And I think it's very interesting that they have been promoting Ben Solo with the mask on. And when we see the footage of him, he has no mask. It's it's basically Adam Driver, Ben Solo, and all of that. So I, I think that's a very interesting way they are separating Ben Solo from Kylo Ren. Now, this might all change when we get the full the full poster and maybe he doesn't have the mask on or maybe he does just for promotional because I I have to believe he's not going to be wearing that mask very long. He's either going to be wearing it the same amount of time that he did in the last Jedi that he barely wore it at all or it's going to mean a lot whenever it's taken off. Either with the fight of Rey, it, it gets fully destroyed, or it could be something else. I don't know, but I think the, the mask looks cool. And I think I wouldn't be worried about it being on and because it makes sense for him to have it on. Now, I'm not going to lie. I When I first saw it, I was kind of skeptical why is he wearing this mask but it makes sense that after the last jedi and everything that ray and kylo slash ben went through they need to go back to what they know that is familiar they need to go what they what they know what makes them safe kind of like what we experienced with han and leia what did he do after the whole the whole big fall of their son of ben solo to the dark side they couldn't handle it. Their marriage fall, fell apart. And so they had to go to what they knew best. Han went to do smuggling and racing. And Leia did Leia. He, she focused on the resistance. And everything with that. And that kind of resemb- resembles what we're getting here with Rey and Kylo, and Kylo Ren. Because they're, they're to this state as they were. In the Force Awakens, but we know that's not going to stick. They know when they first see each other again, and then when they fight the, each other again, it's going to be emotional. It's going to be dramatic, and all those feelings that be holding in for the last year after the last Jedi, it's going to come all out. I have no doubt in my mind it's going to come out, and I think that's what that helmet represents. And I think, I think that helmet will represent what Ben Solo is going through because his facade, his persona of what he hides behind as Kylo Ren is breaking. To be honest, his his shield, his protect protection, his blanket his blanket that to protect himself is unstable. Just as everything else right now is unstable because of what he went through in The Last Jedi. And I think we're going to see that. Now, I don't know how it's going to happen. Because be, to be perfectly honest, you, you can't rely on these leaks that are coming out. Because those are just total lies, in my opinion. And it doesn't make sense. So I wouldn't pay attention to those. I think we can just go on what we know and what we're speculating from The Last Jedi. And I think my speculation is it's either going to come off... Like the first 15 20 minutes, or when that breaks off with the fight between Ray, it's gonna have a major moment. 
revealing the inside interior of Ben Solo versus Ray. Then we really get into the emotion of that fight. We really get into the passion, the dramatic, that everything of that relationship is. I think it can really be a special fight and that can lead us into the redemption of Ben Solo because that's going to happen. If you like it or not, which I'm figuring if you're listening to my podcast, you're a Raylo and you're for Ben Solo's redemption, you're going to understand that could be a big moment to Ben Solo. That could be a big moment into his art. So I really love the first look that Empire gave us. And I'm excited to see what else they're going to show us in the issue because there's some behind the scenes um, looks of the movie. So we might hear from J.J. Abrams about what he thinks of the movie and what he thinks about ending the saga. So that's going to be exciting to really get to read and, and what it reveals because I gotta tell you, we're in the home stretch here, and we're getting pretty close to the releasing of some toys and more of the marketing, and especially getting the full look of the trailer. Now, I've said this before, I really don't know what to expect from the trailer. I don't know if we're gonna get like a big shocking moment in the trailer. I don't know if we're gonna get a- Anakin in the trailer. I I don't know if we're gonna get another big um, Raylo thing in the trailer like we did for The Last Jedi because there's many things we don't know still and they're keeping a lot of, a lot of things close to their chest that we don't know yet and it, I think this trailer is really going to clear up some things. It's really going to put us into a direction of where this movie and where The Rise of Skywalker really is going to finish the whole Skywalker saga, how it's going to finish Ben's and Ray's arc. So, now, before the Empire image came out, there was a promo art of of a heroes and villains with Kylo Ren and Ray. But the interesting thing of this one was that it had two sons behind both of them. It kind of looked like the two sons you see at Tat- on Tatooine in The New Hope. You know, when that big Star Wars and the Force uh, theme plays and it really gets you emotional onto that hero's journey. And I thought that was very interesting for them to show those two sons. Now, this could be a hint to something or I could just be thinking out of my mind. But what if... The two binary sons that we see in A New Hope, we might see again at the end of The Rise of Skywalker. Being that these two sons represent Rey and Kylo slash Ben. What if it's that? Can you just imagine how beautiful that would represent the sequel trilogy? Not just the sequel trilogy, but the relationship relationship with Ben and Rey. It would be a beautiful, symbolic, kind of visual kind of thing going on as that they are balanced and they are of the same. They are of the the same coin. They are dual protagonists. Just many ways they are showing that to end the saga like that for both of them to look upon those sons. Either it's on Tatooine or whatever it is. I think that that would be very interesting to end the saga on, which it would just be beautiful and which would be Star Wars. I I think if that did happen, it would really be satisfying and hopeful and everything that they are talking about what what Star Wars really is by the end of this. So I think that's just a theory. I could be totally wrong because because we're hearing that. The title will make sense the last few lines of the movie. Now, some people are saying that Skywalker is just uh, another name will be used for the Jedi. That could be. That could be a a point. I don't think... I don't 
I don't think Ray is a Skywalker. I, I think that's Ben Solo's main thing, but um, because he is the Skywalker of this trilogy, and I think Ray is someone totally different. So it's gonna be interesting what they mean. The title will make sense by the end of the movie. Yeah, I, 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 that should be interesting. So, I mean, we're gonna know in a couple of months. So yeah. Um. So, one last thing I wanted to talk about that, um, I was thinking about last week about what is the role of the Knights of Ren? Because we all talk about the Knights of Ren is gonna be in this movie, and we we see them. Um, behind the scenes of uh, Vanity Fair pictures. And that's all we see in them besides being in the vision of in The Force Awakens in the vision of Rey. And that's all we've seen. They weren't even touched upon in The Last Jedi. So what would their role be? I think it's obvious they're going to have a big role since it's the last movie of the saga. But I think th I think there's gonna be an interesting I think there's gonna be an interesting and big way they're gonna be used in this movie. Now, there was a quote, I think it was like a couple of years ago, as Adam Driver, what is the background of the Knights of Ren? And he said that they have always been around, even before Ben Solo Solo joined them. So I think that's very interesting. Because I was thinking, how are they going to get around with Ben Solo supposedly burning down Luke's temple? What if, if Snook was the leader of the Knights of Ren, or hired, whatever you can think of, is that the Knights of Ren destroyed Luke's temple? Because a lot of people thinking, how are they going to get around with, you know... With Kylo Ren and the burning of Luke's temple. How are they going to, you know, get past that to redeem him? I was thinking maybe he didn't even do it at all. Maybe that was Snoke's doing. That he told the Knights of Ren to burn everything down. Maybe that's how they get out of that hole. To really show what the Knights of Ren are and how powerful they are. That they are the ones that actually destroyed Luke's temple. So that would make it a really big reveal that Ben didn't actually do that. Knights of Ren were, were like very dangerous and very menacing before he even joined them. Before they were even his leader. That was all Snoke. And so I think that would be very interesting to go off another way to make us really get into the redemption of Ben Solo. Because... We already know it's coming. We know Redemption's coming. We know Kyle, Kyle Ren's slash Ben Solo's redemption is coming. But we still don't know how they're going to do it. We still don't know how J.J. Abrams is going to write it and put it on screen. So that's going to be very interesting of what they do. Especially what they're going to do with the Knights of Ren. Cause we, we've seen very limited things of the Knights of Ren. And I'm thinking there's going to be... Big reveals with the Knights of Ren. We might even see Ben Solo fight the Knights of Ren. I mean, they could be with Palpatine at the end. We don't know. We really don't. So a lot of things are going to be very interesting with their role to play in Episode Nine, Because there is so many things, like I said, that can happen. Because, you know, if you think about it, I would not be shocked if this movie is Avengers Endgame kind of movie time. Because you are, you know, putting it close to a saga that has been telling a story for 30 plus years. So I would not be shocked if we got three hour, at least close to three hours. So, you know, um, yeah. Yeah. I would expect uh, a lot of things into this movie. Maybe we're, we're going to get some big action scenes with the Knights of Ren, with Palpatine and all of that. With the Sith Stormtroopers, it's going to be all-out war. So 
I think that should be uh, everything that we're hearing. It should be just a wonderful movie that I know J.J. Abrams is really going to get everything that he's been wanting to tell from romance, action, to really closing every single character arc with Leia. Yes, even Luke, seeing how he, he will interact between Ray and Ben, or maybe together. So there's a lot of things to look forward to in this movie, and I'm just excited as, excited as everyone else is, and I just can't wait. So I think that's going to be all for today's episode of the Jordan Davis Podcast. I would like, like to thank you for listening for today's podcast. And I would really appreciate if you would like and comment and subscribe on this on this video and, and tell me what you think about the new Kylo Ren image from Empire Magazine. What do you think this cracked mask of his is going to mean in the movie? And when will it come off? And, and tell me what all the theories you have about, you know, what will happen in The Rise of Skywalker because anything can happen. Anything can happen. But what I am certain of is Ben Solo's redemption. And I think we're getting Romantic Rail up. I think they're going to go full force into Romantic Rail up. So, yeah. So, until until next week, i like to thank you for listening. And I hope you have an awesome and fantastic week. And until next time, see you guys later. Bye.